Hi everyone and welcome to another Out and About video and today we're here at Blackburn Old Cemetery yet again and this time we're on the hunt for the final resting place of a man called George Dewhurst. <laughs> Now when we look around Blackburn Old Cemetery you can't but be amazed at the amount of headstones that you'll see. And me and Vicky as we walked our way to this location we were talking about just how many interesting and varied stories there probably are still to be uncovered here. And as for George Dewhurst, we only came across his name, and I'm embarrassed to say, only a few nights ago. Uh, and then obviously we realised that he was actually interred here at Blackburn Old Cemetery. So we're going to make our way to his, his grave now. Um, and like I said, we're going to talk some more about who he was and why we feel his name, along many others, many other stories that we've done, should never be forgotten. So as for George Dewhurst, he was a Blackburn born man who believed in workers rights and he fought pretty much all his life to reform the way workers were treated in the mills, in the factories, in other environments but he was also known as a radical simply because of his passion in fighting for workers rights. Um, and it was his passion that would ultimately lead to him spending, I think it was two or possibly four years in Lancaster prison. Again, I'll put the, the time he spent in prison down below. But he was a passionate man. But apparently, it was also a warm, caring, loving man. But he just believed in, like I said, helping fellow workers. Um, and I think he was also behind a reform in ways which would enable workers to enjoy breaks they, they, you know they, it, there were no parks there were nowhere for, for workers to go once they left the the grime and the hard work of the mills and the factories and he again he fought hard for places for our workers to go such as public parks now like i said we don't really know too much on george Dewhurst. Uh, we do know that and again i think it was in 2009 the family of george petitioned for help in trying to locate his grave here at Blackburn Old Cemetery. And with the help of Blackburn um, Old Cemetery friends and colleagues and the, the volunteers that do such a great amount of work here, they actually did find his final resting place. So as we make our way to, I presume it's called an epitaph, is it? Well, as you can see in front, this tall thing here, this is where George Dewhurst is interred. And now I am reading an article and I'll put a link down to the website below because I want to get this right. Um, but George went on to become a Blackburn councillor and was instrumental in campaigning for the town to become a municipal borough council. And like I said, he was also a part of a team that campaigned 
for access to open spaces for all working class people. Um, he also helped, or I should say, he also helped to develop Corporation Park, obviously for access for working class people. But he died just a few months before the park actually opened. But as you can see, guys, this is the final resting place of George Dewhurst. And it says on the actual memorial, on the stone itself, it says, erected by his friends and fellow townsmen as a mark of respect for his private worth and consistent support of the great principles of political and social reform. As a man, he was conscientious and earnest as a citizen, patriotic, as a friend, generous and sincere. So yeah, it's a, to be fair, it's a fantastic memorial to George. And as you can see on this side, sacred to the memory of George Dewhurst, who was a member of the Council of the Borough of Blackburn from the time of its incorporation, he departed this life August 14th, AD 1857, aged 67 years. And there we go, folks. George Dewhurst. So, from working class backgrounds to featuring high up on the political ladder, this man, you could argue, or I could say, was certainly a pioneer for reform. And if it weren't for people like George, our way of life today possibly wouldn't be what it is. So, respect to George Dewhurst. Now, from all accounts, George Dewhurst was presented with a cup around 1832, and it was a silver cup. Um, it wouldn't have been a cheap thing, but he was presented with it um, in honour of what he did and what he accomplished. And it was unusual um, for working class people to, to do these type of gestures, if you will. But this is just how highly thought of George Dewars was uh, by his peers. Now, I don't know what happened, but apparently this silver cup, I should say, it, uh, it did go missing. And sometime, I think it was in 2020, the family and the descendants of George funded, um, they did a crowdfunding page apparently, and they raised over a thousand pounds to buy it back. And this trophy now, from what I remember, can be found and can be viewed in the Blackburn Museum. And if I've got a photograph, I'll put that over, over now so you guys can see exactly what Mr. Dewhurst was awarded back in 1832. As many know, me and Vicky's visited this this cemetery numerous times, um, and we always seem to struggle when it comes to finding the headstones and the, the graves of the people in the stories. Uh, I think we've only found three. Well, if you include today's video, that I think that's four out of probably a dozen or so stories we've covered. But it is what it is. Um, today doesn't help because the frost 
it's um, it's obviously in some places it's actually covered a lot of the, the headstones and especially in the location where we're, we're originally heading. So that's why we've uh, we've made our way up to George Dewars's final resting place because like I said it is an interesting story but unfortunately it is one I don't really know too much about but rather than not take advantage of of recording him I thought or recording his final resting place I thought uh, while we're here we'll just touch upon the subject now and like I said it's a story I might come back to at a later date depending on just how much information it is out there on Mr Dewurst and what he meant to the working class people of not just the northwest and Blackburn but obviously around the country itself. So that's it from Blackburn Old Cemetery guys on the story of George Dewurst. It is only a short story this one. I really don't know too much on the character so it is something like I said I might come back to at a later date. But if you did enjoy the story don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's videos coming in on a regular basis. Uh, we will be bringing you I think we've got three or maybe four. I think we've got four stories already pending. We're just waiting for the weather to ease up a little bit to make it a little bit more easier to access the actual final resting places of the people involved in the stories. But we do have four written and ready to go as soon as this weather eases. But in the meantime, as I always say, guys, from this brilliant location here in Blackburn, take care, look after yourselves, and I will be back soon with another tale from my dark but illustrious past. Take care, guys.